Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohema. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! Okay, you guys, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a few lipsticks that I think are Christmas holidays approved, okay? Of course, they're gonna be red, and of course, they're gonna be cute, and of course, they're gonna show up on dark skin. So if you wanna see the lip options that I chose, and I also got some glosses that we can put on top of it to give us this luscious, glowy, glossy kind of lip, then keep on watching. Now, before we start, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below and also click that notification bell. Let's jump into the video. Okay, you guys, so with the holidays fast approaching, actually the holidays are already here. Let me not say fast approaching because it's already here, okay? With the holidays here, of course, there's gonna be a lot of reds that you wanna wear, okay? I have here almost eight red lip options. Okay, you guys, so first one we're gonna try is the YSL which one is this rouge rouge volupt shine <laughs> anyway i don't know exactly how to pronounce it but this is what it looks like it looks like a lip balm it's like so this is what it looks like okay and it is it smells like a fruit and this is what it looks like i feel like this is more like a lip balm type situation Oh yeah, this is definitely a lip balm type situation. But it packs a little bit of color. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells edible. It smells like I want to eat it. Oh, I can't stop putting it on. Listen, the one thing I love about this thing is the balminess of it. Feels very nourishing. And the pigment, the pigment is, the pigment is there. And I am here for it, okay? Okay, so this is the shade 127. Of course, YSL never puts the name of the lipstick on the lipstick. On the website, it tells you the name of it, but on the lipstick, it gives you the number of it. This is the shade number 127. Definitely check it out. It looks so good. If you're someone who doesn't like the matte kind of look and you want a more, you know, this is it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the YSL Rouge Velopt Shine. Anyway, I'm gonna put the name on here. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know, okay? I forgot my French, I didn't practice it. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it, okay? But at some point, I knew French, okay? Um, this is the shade 131. 131 is deeper. I feel like 131 is more like a blue-toned red. It's very pretty. 131 is definitely deeper than 127. I found out there's a debate going on on TikTok about red lipsticks for dark skin or red lipsticks in general, okay? Okay, so this is the YSL Rouge Vlopped. This is the shade 131. 131 looks gorgeous. 131 looks so good. <laughs> Mm, I just love how juicy this is. It's so good. And you don't actually need a gloss and a matte to achieve this look. This is a balmy kind of feel. It doesn't feel glossy. It doesn't feel slippery. It literally feels like lip balm, except that it is uber, uber pigmented, okay? I didn't have any primers on my lips. My lips are the natural shades, and this is what it looks like, okay? Looks really, really good. I really like this. And it wipes off so easily. Sometimes I just want to show you guys a take off process, right? It comes off very easily and it doesn't stain your lips. Okay, 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 okay. Next, we're gonna move into the mattes, okay? Um, I have two lipsticks here from Colored Rain. We have this one, which is the Cherry Blossom. 
and this one is vanity rain now i know cherry blossom has been a lot of people's faves for a very 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 long time so if you're one of those this is to you if you're gonna buy from colored rain definitely go ahead and use my code ohima at checkout i have two of these so this particular tube has not been used is this a gloss lip lacquer this is the cherry blossom gloss interesting jesus christ the pigment mm. mm -hmm. wow this is not the matte cherry blossom this is a glossy cherry blossom mm. 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 listen okay listen the fight going on with the this and the that and it doesn't show up and all of that listen you just gotta look just gotta look at the right brands this is colored rain cherry blossom lacquer it looks really 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 good oh, oh, oh. okay so this next one i'm gonna try is not a lip lacquer it's actually a matte lip this is vanity rain and vanity rain has been one of my favorite reds forever This is the one that you put on when you want to stand out. It is borderline neon, okay? And I can feel it drying down already. It's already dry. It's already dry. Like, this is already dry. And you can't go on with a matte lacquer or with, with a matte red because you know that it's not going to get on your teeth and it can last through your eating and your drinking and all that good stuff and it's not going to move, okay? I have to do a demo for you guys okay so this is it this is um this is vanity rain okay i'm gonna put some of the juvia's place reds gloss on it this is the shade cherry love and i'm doing this so i can gloss this one up a bit and also it's gonna help me take it off but you can see that cherry love and cherry blossom i mean cherry love and vanity rain i feel like they go very well together matte with a gloss over it this is a very very pigmented red gloss so don't take it lightly it's it comes packing a punch this is like for the people that want to stand out like you want to be seen this is the lip combo for you this is gorgeous Listen, I'm having difficulty removing, so I'm going to put some of my YSL over it, and it's going to break up, it's going to break up Vanity Rain, <laughs> and then I'll wipe it off. Goodness, Vanity Rain did not come to play, like, it doesn't want to leave my lips alone. I'm going to try to wipe it off. I'm going to move into the Juvia's Place lipsticks. This is the red these are the reds, um, the reds and berries, the reds and berries collection. I've used this lipstick a bunch of times. I need to wipe it off because it has the liner on it. And this is a soft matte lipstick. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go in with this. We're going to go in with this. The Juvia's Place reds and berries. This is the shade of Freak. okay i don't even need any more i don't i don't need any more however much you saw me put on it was all i needed it's done period period it looks so good this is the shade of freak by juvia's place i had to show y'all the juvia's place reds and berries because i feel like some of y'all forgot about them 
it looks really really good this is definitely one of the lipsticks that you need for the season okay reds for the season this this is a red for the season a red for dark skin people for the season okay okay so next we have another juvia's place lipstick this is the shade perfect red perfect red doesn't have any liner on it so i'll just go ahead and show you guys If you're somebody who needs really good lipsticks, like lipsticks that are soft matte, looks good, are extra pigmented and will not move, check out the Juvia's Place lipsticks because Do you guys remember when I was going to swatch the LIS lipsticks and I had that e.l.f. Um, lip stain remover product that I was going to try that I didn't get to try because the LYS lipsticks do not stain at all. Well, I figured I could try it today, but I can't find it. <laughs> but I can't find it. The only YSL lipstick that I'm going to swatch for you guys is the shade 306. I'm going to link the video to all the YSL reds that I swatched. It was like a reddish pinkish kind of um, collection that they sent over. 306 to me is like the Juvia's Place Perfect Red. But this is more creamy. The Juvia's Place Perfect Red is a matte or a soft matte. This one is a creamy... Um, kind of shade and they also wipe off so easily and they don't stain i'm gonna link the video of me trying like nine of these lipsticks out for you guys so you can check it out but this is it looks really really good <laughs> i love it that's so cute okay Okay, now I'm just gonna swatch three glosses for you because we swatched a balmy kind of lipstick, we swatched a lacquer, we swatched a few mattes and soft mattes, and we swatched a cream. I am gonna swatch some red glosses for you because I know not everybody likes the lipstick look or the the um the liquid lipstick look, but these are glosses. These are the Juvia's Place glossy reds. This is the shade Cultured. Okay, so this kind of gloss, I feel like you will probably not need to line it if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm gonna try the next one called Cherry Love. This is the Cherry, Cherry Love Lip Gloss by Juvia's Place. It looks really good. Tell me otherwise, it looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the last one. Okay, so this is it. This is the Juvia's Place Ruby Rose. It's a gloss. It feel, it's a bit less opaque. It's, but, you know, not everybody wants that really super intense, super pigmented. Kind of red. And if that's the case, that is okay. With this shade, I feel like if you pick up the shade, you can put it over any red that you have and it will make it look juicy okay without taking away from the pigment of the red and also not adding anything else to it or you can get the clear glow if you're someone who wants just a slight touch of pigment and maximum shine this is it this is it this is it, it looks really really good I know my lips are stained, but let's go ahead and do a little lip combo using everyone's favorite MAC lip liner, Night Moth. This is actually from the Tiana Taylor and MAC collection. So what I'm gonna do is actually line my lips. I can't talk to anybody when I'm lining my lips. Like, it's just not... It's not something I can do, okay? I, I am going to be using the Colored Rain Cherry Blossom Lip Lacquer. I 
I don't blend with a brush. I just keep doing this until I feel like it's nicely blended. Okay, you guys, so that is it for me showing you guys a few red lipsticks that you can absolutely wear for the holidays, which I want to call reds for the holidays. Let me know down below in the comments which shade your favorite was. I am definitely loving every single shade that I tried. If I have a code with any of them, I will put it right next to the link that I'm going to put down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below and also click the notification bell. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.